Hey guys, welcome back. We will see a 3.5.2 community build review. So it's almost a week I have used here on my OnePlus 3 here. So let me share my experiences. When I was on 3.5.1, I downloaded the complete GIF file. Then uh, I went on a Sony using Twerp. So it was not working for me. And because the problem was that the Twerp that I installed, uh, the version 3.2.0, it was not compatible with 3.5.2 because there are so many uh, kernel level changes happened. So official Twerp was not updated. And anyway, I tried to manage that so what I did I rolled back to the stock recovery then I waited for OTA I got the OTA then I installed it then again uh, my device was not rooted so I thought to install some uh, Cyanogen mod 14 here just I want to compare with the Android Nova official and the Nexus 6 i I'm working on that one now uh, I already shown you how you can install the twerp in that case so there are two videos make sure to watch that and this is about the solution experiences and couple of the issues like people are still waiting like they are on 3.2.6 and how they will uh, get this update so you you cannot get features like uh, you know the 60 fps and all the stuff so you need to have one community bit so you can either directly flash 3.5.1 then you can get the OTA or you can directly download 3.5.2 make sure to install the latest twerp of 3.2.0-19 otherwise you will not be able to install that so this is my installation experiences now we'll talk about something uh, like in terms of memory and ram and battery especially so many issues were coming features and some issues that i found out so let's begin and see We'll first talk about the new features. So in terms of that, already have shown you 25 plus new features. So make sure to watch all the details features. So collectively, which features I am using? So first of all, this three finger uh, gestures to take a screenshot is most uh, my important feature. And also, apart from that, this is 60 FPS. I really like much. You can go inside this video and turn this. Uh, it convert it to 60 FPS as you can see. And also the double tap to lock from this lock screen and unlock here. This is also a very nice feature. And also this uh, the dark mode complete is again back so these are the important features that guys i'm really using now we'll talk about the performance so i really felt there's a slight delay in terms of uh, opening the app compared to 3.2.4 or 3.2.6 when i was running so we'll launch uh, play store here um, in both devices this nexus 6p and right nougat and this is the one plus three so let's see which device uh, performs faster yet it's launching in three two one you can see uh, i got this one here first so it's not the first time i tried many times here sometimes it does happen in few apps not in all of the ones so we we'll launch again the instagram in three two one so almost same here and uh, let's launch the youtube here so make sure no youtube instance is running and uh, nothing running here so yeah we'll launch the youtube here so launching youtube in three two one you can see still uh, clicked for a couple of seconds here so these kinds of delays i am still getting even though uh, you would notice that but when you try to use a couple of devices together then you you may find that because i'm using many devices together we'll talk about the battery here so that is the more important so as you can see here and going inside the battery so uh, sometimes i did cross four hours but i am my average is near to four hours if i compare to the same with the 3.2.4 and earlier so i was getting near to five and a half hours so it was a uh, a bit half an hour to one hour low there is no sudden drain in terms of battery this is just casually decreasing as you can see this is what you get here uh, on my standard usage here so nothing like if device gets heats up and all so first of all uh, there is an app called the droop dialer here so i'm uh, using this a uh, couple of times i installed it and when i used to try to call somewhere it used to switch to the default uh, uh, stock dialer so i'm surprised why each time it is happening then i found that uh, each day uh, after a couple of hours i need to relaunch my droop dialer and again ask for permission so i really don't understand why it is asking for permissions each time and why it is reloading itself so i really don't understand guys that's why i said uh, some of the apps still needs to relaunch daily because it should work automatically uh, comparing with here to nexus 6p uh, there is an app called uh, this uh, cm swipe uh, even it's been more than a week i never shut down this phone but this app always runs in the background that's uh, kind of stuffs are there if you run the fresh stock android which doesn't have anything here so it's very smooth compared to the ones which has a lot of tweaks here so these kinds of problems are still coming and even though when i was 3.2.4 i was getting these kinds of issues so that's why i installed cm swipe from here and now i'm going to uninstall this troop dialer because there's no make sense uh, each time i need to you know daily relaunch it here instead of better i will stick to the stock uh, dialer 
now we'll talk about the camera especially uh, let's launch here so camera is very fast even if i just compare it with the nexus 6 p you can see camera launched pretty faster here focus immediately too and this uh, the 60 fps is really great here and uh, if you just go here you can see uh, some bit of here so 60 fps works great but it does takes uh, almost a double side when you try to film on 30 fps so this is as of now in 30 fps here as you can see and uh, this you got in 60 fps so exactly size is double and uh, you won't notice the picture quality here but when you try to film on this pc on the laptop you can visualize there then you will see the differences here all right and the raw photos if you enable that it's going to take a lot of space i don't know why sometimes i found that raw photos are 30 to 40 mbs of size so make sure to turn that off go inside the setting and do not enable the store raw images otherwise it will take a lot of spaces for your phone so i did notice some of the issues for example the brightness if i just compare it here so brightness even if you just minimize it that uh, you can see this is a brightness this time here since it is automatically adjusting itself so sometime when you uh, do that thing here so because there is a flood light on the top of that one that otherwise it is not able to do that but brightness is uh, if you just compare it here you can see i set it here on both the same point here is still i can see here this is more bright compared to this see this is 2k display this is 10 degree even and also if i just move it to uh, 50 percentage here so it's uh, much brighter so i know it looks good but it does takes a lot of batteries so these are the reasons i guess i am getting certain battery in here uh, not sudden but uh, gradually i'm getting less uh, you know battery backup so i used to keep it in very low brightness if i just increase it to full max brightness so you can see uh, this uh, nexus 6p is less brighter compared to the uh, this uh, oneplus 3 even though it has 1080p 2k so it i am sure this thing is gonna fix in coming build and also guys uh, now we have this uh, double tap to unlock when the phone is locked so i am still getting vibration so i'm sure it's not an issue but uh, i don't understand uh, i have many devices like all the microsoft and nokia phones what i have here they suppose double tap to unlock on front of the lock screen so take an example here if i just uh, double tap this phone here so it unlocks immediately but it doesn't felt me any vibration but when i do this here so i'm getting vibration here so this sort of thing that's why i sometimes prefer not to use fingerprint sensor because it gives me vibration kind of feedback so i really uh, wish like this thing can be removed like don't vibrate when you double tap to unlock it there. so these are the uh, things i found here uh, so uh, now the conclusion is whether you should be updating that or not so uh, stay uh, away from this piece uh, kind of uh, because there is a couple of new features only and because of that you may get some lesser battery backup and even though it is beta so anytime it can happen like you know, you know when you try to update to new builds so just for enthusiasts you may get lose wipe all if you did it because sometimes trap is not working sometimes uh, flash is corrupted so a lot of struggles are there so that's it guys for this video and still i have many requests like people are asking to do cr206 so guys i have only one phone so uh, first i will do the cm14 cyanogen review then i will uh, trade this nandroid backup using trap manager then i will try to install 3 6 if these things are working fine i will make a review for the 3 6 so there is not much new feature except this adaptive brightness which you can easily get in 3.5.2 so uh, this is about this video guys uh, i will uh, come back soon with this new video hope you guys find this video helpful this is sarah i'll catch you soon thanks for watching